Cinder cones are different from volcanoes in that they erupt once and then they're dead. So we're going to make a cinder cone. LJ, take the cap off the potassium permanganate. And Nicole, you just hang on to the glycerin for a second. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pour a small pile about the size of a poker chip into the center of that pan. And let's make it about three or four times that size. You can just pour it directly out of the bottle. You don't have to put it in the cap if you don't want to. And keep going, 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 and thank you. Now what I'd like you to do is put the lid back on that bottle. And I want you to take those little pieces of metal and place them in the top of that volcano. Just sort of spread them around all over the top. Now magnesium is a metal that burns at a very low temperature. But when it burns, it releases a ton of heat and it will burn at 5,000 degrees. It doesn't have to be that hot to get started. So spread those around. And this is just going to add a little extra effect to our cinder cone. So keep going. Keep adding those in there. All right. I can see that you've built many a volcano in your lifetime, right? No. Okay. This is your first volcano? Yeah. No, it's, you're doing great. Now take your finger and make a little opening so we can fill it full of liquid. So mush that top part down. A little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And... A little just squish it like this. Okay. Now look at your finger. Do your finger fall off? No. No? Does it catch on fire? No. Is it frozen into pieces? No. No. Okay. Would you say that this stuff is safe to touch? Yeah. I would agree with you. Okay. Nicole, take the lid off the bottle. And I'd like you to hold your little finger up. Put your little finger in the bottle. And pull it back out. And rub it with your thumb. Like this. Is that a liquid, a solid, or a gas? Liquid. It's a liquid. Is it clear or does it have a color? Clear. It's clear. Is it slippery or is it watery? Mm, slippery. Slippery. So it's a clear, slippery liquid. Now, normally in science lab, we don't ever eat things because that's a good way to get poisoned. But today, I want you to taste that and tell us if it's sweet, sour, salty, or bitter. Just do that. And is it sweet, sour, salty, or bitter? Sour and sweet. Try tasting it again. Is it sweet, sour, salty, or bitter? Salty. Okay, try tasting it again. And I'm going to give you a big clue. Is it sweet, sour, salty, or bitter? Sweet. Very good. It's sugar water. <laughs> Glycerin is used by candy makers to make hard candies. It's used as uh, a component of hand lotion to make your hands soft and supple and, and tender. It's also used in um, chemistry lab as a lubricant. And you can eat it, and it does taste sweet, doesn't it? Okay, now to make our cinder cone erupt, what you're going to do is take the sugar water and put it right into the center of that, and you keep keep going and add it. Keep going, go, keep going, keep going, and that's good. Thank you. And put your cap back on. And if we can get somebody to go catch the light over there quickly, what's going to happen is the glycerin is going to soak into the potassium permanganate. When the glycerin and the potassium permanganate come together. They react with one another, but it takes a little while for it to get going. So as, as the glycerin soaks into the potassium permanganate, at first you'll see it start to smoke, which will happen in a second here. And that means that the <coughs> reaction is accelerating, and then it will eventually burst into flames, and then we'll turn the light back on and we'll see what's going on. I scoot back, I'll take just a little bit. And there we go, and eruption. <laughs> your cinder cone erupting yes. and as you can see when when lava erupts and flows down the hill if there's anything close to it it catches on fire it will burn up trees and shrubs and chipmunks that are really slow moving and anything else <laughs> and we'll go ahead and turn the light back on and oops oh, hold on a second here and then I'd like you to stand up and look at the white paper around.